Hey everyone, welcome to Music and Mission. My name is John DeBellis, Managing Editor of Missiles and Periodicals here at OCP. This week we'll be featuring Sarah Hart, who will lead us in prayer and song. Also, later on in this episode, we will hear a song from Taylor Trippity. Hope you enjoy. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving God, open our hearts to those most in need, the unemployed parent worried about feeding his or her children, the woman who is underpaid, harassed, or abused, the black man or woman who fear for their lives, the immigrant at the border longing for safety, the homeless person looking for a meal, the LGBT teen who is bullied, the unborn child in the womb, the inmate on death row. Help us to be a nation where every life is sacred. All people are loved and all are welcome. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. If you recognize that prayer, that beautiful prayer, it was written just this week by my friend, Father James Martin. And this prayer fits so well um, with the theme of the Gospels coming up this weekend. And um, all of the readings are really beautiful, but this one really stands out to me. And before I play you this song, uh, by my myself and my friend Tom Booth called The Feast Meant for Everyone. I want to tell you the second reading. It's from Romans 13, 8, 10, and it says this, Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are all summed up in this one saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. To love one another and to see the dignity of one another, that is the summation of the law that Jesus gave us. And all the readings are about that this weekend. I sum it up in uh, one of my favorite scriptures in John, which actually is a, a, a scripture I had inscribed on my husband's wedding ring when we got married. And it says this, Beloved, let us love one another, for love comes from God. If we truly feel that love in our hearts, we will understand how we are to radiate that love to the rest of the world, to see the dignity of every human person, and to powerfully and unashamedly and unabashedly love every human person with that love that Christ first gave us. We see the dignity of all and we respond with love and with welcome. Man. 
Happy to get to introduce you to my dear friend Taylor Trapodi. Hi, OCP family. It's great to be joining you and sharing my original song called Here I Am. Um, today's gospel is beautiful, where Jesus calls the 12 apostles to leave the rest of the world behind and to come and follow him. And in the same way, I pray that the song can be a reminder to you to surrender fully to God because in and through you, he can do beautiful things. I come before you now, giving all I am, surrendering to you. For you know better than I, where I am in my life, and what I'm meant to do. For to give you my all is what my heart is crying out for. So before you I fall, I lay my life down at your feet, Lord. Here I am. Here I am. Take me away. Take me. There's a purpose for my life and a plan you have in mind to show me what to do. Give me the joy that you supply so people ask the reason why and I can point them back to you. Oh, you've given my life a whole new Join with your cross to guide me by your light to show the world the love you've given. Here I am. Here I am. 
Take me away, take me away and consume me in your grace. Lord, send me. Lord, send me. I want to be, I want to be everything. I'm reaching so far, I'm calling out, but you're calling too. I'm calling out, I'm reaching so far, I'm calling out, but you called me first, you're calling Take me away, take me away, and consume me in your grace. Lord, send me. Lord, send me. I want to be, I want to be everything you want to be. Thank you so much, Taylor, for your beautiful song and your beautiful words. I just love, love your voice. Um, I'm going to close today with a song by a dear friend, Jesse Manabusen. Um, I know that these days sometimes feel like they're getting harder and harder, and holding on to hope can feel more and more difficult, but hold on to love. Remember, we must love our neighbor and see the dignity in our neighbor. We hold on to that and we have something real and tangible to hold on to. That is what builds a kingdom. What builds the kingdom of God is whatever we do to show that we love one another. So my prayer for all of you is that, like this beautiful song says, you will continue to hold on to love. There is a place for the sadness Hold on to love There is a season of gladness Hold on to love When pain and confusion seem Of compassion restore.
Hatred is used to divide us God, help us to love our neighbor as we love ourselves, to see the dignity of all, to continue to build the kingdom of heaven here on earth. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in to Music and Mission this week. Don't forget to follow OCP on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you very soon.